let him come here and and we not I had had to introduce my son to you, of course, and bless it to you. But he's, it's so precious to have him and Mary. I wouldn't show this because he's he's sixty sixty one years. You mean and then and, and, 64, yeah. 60. Uh, six, uh, 63 years. Sixty three years in ministry. And I'm, I'm eighty one now. Eighty next month. Do not be eighty. I'm I'll be eighty. Eighty one. Yeah. But he was sitting here with, with, with these jewels. Now, what I liked was this, um, and then you can go back. I know you're doing some things. But the first thing you told me, what Jesus said, he had a message that was delivered to him. Jesus had a message, yes, delivered to him. Watch it was again. It's so many things. He said, he said, um, I, uh, he, God gave it to me, I give it to you. Oh, yes. I deliver what I receive. I deliver what I receive. <laughs> I know it was said in a real, a real swift way that you get. I deliver what I receive. First Corinthians 11, Paul said, I have delivered. There's a sermon about the, the communion, Lord's Supper. He said, I have delivered what I receive. I get it, so I give it. I get it, so I give it. That was the first thing he said yes. a few minutes ago. I, I deliver so he's been putting these little jewels out this yeah. one of them I've been sharing with the, the, the especially the preachers the young people that they people excited about ministry miracles and signs and wonders and that's where Jesus started out but that was not his ultimate goal Jesus wanted him to learn more than that so they preach and they teach, Jesus preach and teach and perform miracles, and they love the signs and wonders. But after a year, Jesus knew that his time was short, it was three and a half years. So he switched the ministry, shift the ministry, saying, and they said, eat my flesh and drink my blood. You have no part in me. And the disciples said, Jesus preaching cannibalism. So we're going to walk away from him. Mm -hmm. So 60 of them walk away from Jesus. And he saw the twelve sitting down there and he said, Will he also go away? And Peter said, Where shall we go? You have the word of eternal life. Jesus said, All right. I shift again. He said, All right. Let the sixty go, you, the twelve stay. And I want you to do four things. You must be available, availability. Sit with me, let me rub your back, rub your head, teach you wisdom, and let you stay strong. Then you'll be committed. Commitment, and then you have accountability. You must be steward. And then the next, yes, and the next one, you are available. The flexibility, rather. You must be flexible. Mm -hmm. Some people love to hear the word, but they are not flexible. We have to switch them, fix them until they, they focus. Mm -hmm. So they, they must be available. Available. Sit, sit down and listen. Then Accountability. Accountable. Then dependability. Dependable. And flexibility. And flexible. Yes. Sir. And when when it's when they did that, Jesus said, These twelve will turn the world upside down. They can't run. They settled. They're committed. Some people come in church and they, they sound good, they talk well, you hear them preach and sing, but as like a trouble come, they shift. Mm -hmm. They even forget who, who who the Lord sent to raise them up. Oh, yes, and they they turn they, they, they turn their back against the teacher, and the Bible says he that refuses instruction is brutish. So the, the man have to sit down and learn it. Then another uh, another one is a builder does not put a round stone, a round rock in the corner of a building. It will shift and the building will crumble. So a good builder shape the stone four square so it stay flat, so it can take weight. So if people come to you, they have good, they talk well, they preach well, they did well, but if, if, they can't, if they can't take shape in and not stable, one persecution, one little word, and they just they crumble. And the people, some people are very 
uh, influentially, people look, look lean on them. But if a man lean on you and you roll, then you, he roll along with you, you roll along with him. Because he's not properly settled. But the builder, four square. So when you put down one rock like that, you can build rock and it to 40 feet up in the air because this one cannot roll because it's stable. So if the, if the leader is not stable, you, you're wasting time on them. Yes. So Jesus said, all right, I'm going to fix you up. You must be, dip, you, you, you must be uh, available. available. You have to stay. Mm -hmm. So he take them out in the sea, frighten them, walk on water, cause to call them devils. But they still stay there. <laughs> uh, so when, when they crucified Jesus, about to crucify him, and uh, Jesus, Jesus said, crucify me if you want to. Go ahead. He said, because I have it set already. I got 12 men, some a little bit shaky now, they're around the corner. But these men will turn the world upside down. So Jesus said, it is finished. The plan and purpose of my coming to the world to provide salvation is finished. Yes. 12 men out there. They, they understand, they know. They can take the whipping, they can take the rebuke, they take the love, so they stay. So if, you, if, if the people around you got to be, know you, understand you, and settle. So when they settle, then the, the, work, the work will continue. This is my concern now. I went to Jamaica when I was 40 years old. Mm. I'm, I'm, I know I'm Haiti, I'm the Haiti one. I pulled my family out of, of, out of America. Carry them to a country. Uh, everything is primit primitive, not like what America have. But we make a sacrifice to go. Yes. So I went there and, and invest 40 years. Yes. When I went to Jamaica, you, I thought they were going to have another Cuba. You rem I remember. You remember? Yes, oh, people free people. People leave their house with light burning it and catch a plane and fly to Miami. Because they thought another cash that was on the horizon. I sit there and preach and pray around the country and God bless the country and sweep away the communism and now and we have a democratic country. Hundreds and thousands of people, some of the largest churches in Jamaica now, came out of Walton Park Road. There's mm -hmm. a church where you come, I want you to go and see it. Mm -hmm. That guy used to be in your class, who used to teach, his name is, his name is uh, Delford, Delford Davis. When Benny Hinn came to Jamaica the other day, Benny Hinn went at his church. Over 5,000 people there. And all that came right from Walton Park Road. So we leave a, 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 a strong testimony. Now I'm getting older. and about to leave. get older here. When the Lord says so, I want to plant it. Mm -hmm. Let it root it and ground it. And the devil can have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'll, I'll, you came here and you preached a sermon. If you see me. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, I remember that. You remember that? Yes. You see me when I'm taken up. Yes. I've never forgotten. That. Yes, yes, if you see me. Some people, some people won't see you at all. They won't see you. If you see me. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, you preached that here. You uh, see me yeah. when I'm taken up. Oh, this is good. 